Hey, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to properly stay back in your baseball swing. Exactly what that means and exactly how you do it properly so that you can be a more consistent, productive, and powerful hitter. Let's just get straight into it. So as a hitter, you've probably heard coaches tell you to stay back for the longest time, ever since you were a really young player. We all hear it at some point, but why do coaches use the term stay back? Well, they use it because they see a hitter and what they do is they're, they're letting everything get out over their front foot like this, okay? It might not necessarily be lunging, it might be that they're hitting against the front side, but their head and their chest and everything, their upper body is forward like this, okay? And when you have any sort of weight over, meaning your chest and your head, over your front side, you've committed to that pitch. So you better hope that your timing is absolutely perfect because if you didn't recognize the pitch properly, if it's an off-speed pitch, you're fooled and you're completely beat. And once you're out here like this, it's very hard to keep your hands back, you're committed, and that's when you're gonna swing at those pitches in the dirt. But a lot of the times, you know, it just doesn't cause anything good to happen, even if you're on time, when everything's out here over your front foot, you're gonna hit the top of the ball, you're gonna have an around the ball bat path, you're gonna hit a lot of wheat ground balls, right? So that's when you hear coaches say, hey, come on, stay back, stay back, or it could just mean that you're not letting the ball travel, you're trying to go out and get it, right? But that's kind of why coaches use the term stay back. Now the problem with coaches using that term is some hitters, mostly younger hitters, but some hitters think that stay back means, okay, coaches tell me to stay back, I'm going to keep my weight on my backside as I load and as I stride and as I swing and I'm going to keep my weight back here and I'm never going to make a weight transfer. And weight transfer is so important for you for your rhythm and timing and of course your bat speed and your power, right? We have to have some sort of a movement back, a gather, a load, but we have to have a weight shift forward. So here's two examples of what not to do. This first one, my head and my chest is gonna be over my front side. And then the next one, my weight is gonna start back and stay back throughout the entire time. So this is not what you wanna do, is something like this. that's what not to do, but what do we actually do? How do we actually stay back properly? Well, I think the first thing is understanding what staying back means, and staying back means after I have my load, my gather back, and after I have my weight shift forward, my stride, then I stay back, okay? Then I stay back and hit against a firm front side. So my weight is back, but I don't keep my weight back the entire time go through my swing. There has to be some sort of a weight shift forward towards the pitcher. Now it doesn't have to be an over exaggerated huge stride or anything like that. In fact, you see a lot of guys, Albert Pujols being one of them, starting super wide and all they basically do for their load or their gathers, they basically pick their front heel up but they have a weight shift back and then you see that they still go forward, they still have a slight movement forward towards the pitcher. We wanna have a little bit of a movement back, a little bit of a movement forward, before then dropping that front heel and hitting against a firm front side. And honestly, what I found to be the most effective in terms of teaching yourself or another younger hitter how to stay back properly is just focus and keep your head between your feet. Okay, as you load, as you stride, as you go through everything in your swing, keep your head between your feet. That way you're not thinking about, okay, I gotta do this and this and this. We don't wanna think about a ton of mechanics. We wanna simplify things, and I think that one mental cue will simplify things for you because right now in my stance, my head is obviously between my feet, right? My weight is pretty much 50-50, so my head is between my feet here. When I go into my load, I want it to stay in between my feet. I don't wanna load back like this, that's over-exaggerated, right? But I don't want my weight to go outside my back knee and my back ankle, so my head is still gonna be between my feet when I go into my load. And then when I stride forward, again, we're not striding out here like this, that's over, that's get, allowing everything to get over that front side, and look, my head is over my front foot, it's not between my feet. 
okay? So on the flip side of that, the other extreme, when hitters stay back throughout their stride, well now my head is actually over my back foot and we don't want this either. So if you just think about, keep my head between my feet, head between my feet, head between my feet throughout your entire swing, even as you make contact, even as you finish, my head is still between my feet. That's gonna keep you balanced and that's gonna keep you in that perfect stay back position. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and now that we've got this issue corrected, you know how to properly stay back. Now let's build on that, let's boost your bat speed. I created a brand new free bat speed boosters workout. All you have to do, it's 100% free. Click on the link I will leave in the first comment below. I'll leave the comment, I'll pin it so you know where it's at. Just click on that link, all I need is your email address so that way I know where to send this free bat speed boosters workout. So go ahead and do that right now, it's 100% free. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, leave me a like, I'd really appreciate that. Get in the comments section if you have any ideas for future videos. And as always, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're coming out with new baseball videos every single week, and I don't want you to miss any of them. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'm out. Yeah.